my name is Michael, I'm the founder here at the Alchemy Cordial Company and what we're going to be doing in these upcoming videos is show you how to bring all of the syrups you can see behind me to life. We're going to show you how to make every drink on the specialty drink menu. It's easy, it's simple, they're delicious and so now I'm going to introduce you to Billy, our barista. Today we're going to make a creamy caramel latte. So we start off with a nice warm glass, two shots of the caramel syrup, it's a nice fudgy caramel. Make our coffee as normal. Add them both together and have a beautiful creamy caramel latte. Today we're going to make a vanilla Vivicino espresso. It's served in a latte glass, so we have two shots of the vanilla syrup made with the organic vanilla beans. Make our coffee as normal. Add the milk and we have a beautiful vanilla Vibuccino espresso. Today we're going to make a caramello cappuccino. Start off with a nice warm cup. Two shots of our caramel syrup. Such a delightful caramel. Make our coffee as normal. You can see that now. Add the two together and we've got an amazing caramello cappuccino. Now we're going to make a hazelnut truffle latte. Start with a nice warm glass, two shots of our hazelnut syrup, maybe raw and roasted hazelnut flavours in the syrup. Make our coffee as normal, steam our milk, add the two together for an amazing hazelnut truffle latte. Now we're going to make a Celtic cream cappuccino. Start with a nice warm cup, two shots of our Irish cream syrup, Smells just like Bailey's. Make our coffee as normal. Steam our milk. Add the two together for an amazing Celtic cream cappuccino. Now we're going to make a butterscotch coffee toffee. So we start off with a latte glass, two shots of our butterscotch syrup, which is amazing. Even asked my Scottish girlfriend back there. And then we make our coffee as normal. Steam up the milk, milk, add the two together, an amazing tasting butterscotch coffee toffee. Now we're going to make an alchemy flavoured macchiato, so we start with a nice warm cup, two shots of any of our syrup, so let's go with butterscotch. Make our espresso as normal. Add just a stain of milk and have an alchemy flavoured macchiato. Now we're going to make an alchemy flavoured affogato. So we start off with our normal shot of espresso. Top it off with a healthy dollop of ice cream. And to finish, we choose any one of the alchemy syrups. So let's go with caramel. And here you have an alchemy flavoured caramel affogato. Today we're going to make a chocolate mocha. Serve it in a latte glass. We start off with two shots of our chocolate syrup and make our coffee as normal. You can choose to layer it, or you can put it around the edge of your glass. Steam them up, add them together for a beautiful chocolate mocha. Now we're going to make a white chocolate mocha. So we get our white chocolate syrup, two shots as normal. Oh, it's so good, it's like 20 white chocolate frogs, humanely culled, rendered into this delicious syrup. You've got to try it. To make our coffee as normal, you can layer the chocolate or you can put the white chocolate all around the rim. Add your milk and coffee. An amazing white chocolate mocha. Now we're going to make an alchemy chai latte. Start off with a nice warm glass. Two shots of our all natural chai elixir. This one we make it just with steamed milk. Chai is made with organic black tea and vanilla beans as well as some other calming spices. Chai latte. Now we're going to make a chai of the tiger. Served in a latte glass and two shots of our all natural chai of the tiger syrup. Um, the difference is with this one we make with just steamed milk. Chai of the tiger is just like chai with a little bit something extra. It's great for energy, focus and clarity. Let's try it out. 
We're now going to make a mango, guava and lychee granita using the Alchemy Frappulicious range. So we start off with 150 ml of the syringe. Most good blenders should have a marking on the side. From there, we just add one cup of ice. Put the lid on, stop the goodness going anywhere. This flavor is made with Bowen uh, mango puree and all natural guava and lychee flavors. Don't forget to get all the goodness out of that one and that's a mango, guava and lychee granita. We're now gonna make a pomegranate and raspberry granita using an alchemy frappulicious syrup. So it's really simple. We start off with 150 mils of our syrup. Then to that, we just add a glass of ice. We put on our lid. It's that simple. With this one, we use real pomegranate juice and all natural raspberry flavor. But that's it, raspberry and pomegranate granita. We're now gonna make a blood orange, guarana and ginseng granita using the Alchemy Frappulicious Cordial Range. So we start off with our blood orange mix. We had 150 mils. That hopefully is a marking for you to make it easier for a little measuring cup. Add one cup of ice to our syrup. And don't forget the lid. Now this is not a bedtime drink. The uh, natural bit of guarana and ginseng add for an amazing energy boost. This is the Blood Orange Guarana and Ginseng Granita. Now we're going to make a Velvety Vanilla Chiller, which is essentially a vanilla based ice coffee frappe. It's really simple, we start off with 45 mils of our vanilla syrup, so that's about 6 pumps, that is 6 pumps. After that, we add our shot of espresso, followed by 90 mils of milk and a cup of ice. From there we put the lid on, back right down the top. Simple as that, now we have a velvety vanilla chiller, which is a vanilla iced coffee frappe. There we have it, velvety vanilla chiller. We're now going to make a heavenly hazelnut hailstorm, which is essentially a hazelnut flavoured iced coffee frappe. We start off with six shots of our flavoured syrup, which is about 45 mils. We then add to the syrup a little shot of espresso, 90 mils of milk, and a glass full of ice. Next we find the lid, don't make that mistake, hit blend. Simple as that, we have a hazelnut iced coffee frappe, and don't forget to add a little bit of hail. There you go, heavenly hazelnut hailstorm. Finish it off right. We're now going to make a caramel fudge frappe fusion, which is essentially a caramel flavoured iced coffee frappe. We start off with 45 mils of our syrup, which is six shots from the pump. We then add to that our shot of espresso, then add 90 mils of milk, and finally we just add a cup of ice. Put the lid on. And hit blend. In seconds we have a caramel fruit bag. It's that easy. We have a caramel fudge frappe fusion. We're now going to make a butterscotch blizzard, which is essentially a butterscotch flavoured iced coffee frappe. So we start off with six shots of our butterscotch syrup. Forty-five mils of our syrup. We then add our shot of espresso. We then add ninety mils of milk. And finish off with a cup of ice. Don't forget the lid. Just hit blend. It's that easy to make a butterscotch flavored iced coffee frappe. 
butterscotch blizzard. We're now going to make a white chocolate mocha frappe, which is our white chocolate syrup iced coffee frappe. We start off with six shots of our white chocolate, probably put it all around the edge. Then after that we add our shot of espresso as normal. We add 90 mils of milk and just a cup of ice. White chocomoco, you gotta try it. Don't serve them this one. We are now going to indulge a little and make a double choc chiller thriller. So we start off with three shots of our white chocolate syrup, followed by three shots of our traditional chocolate syrup. From there we add a shot of espresso as normal. We add 90 mils of milk and we finish with just a glass of ice. blending you can also put just a little bit of chocolate all around the rim which I don't think ever hurt anybody. And then you have a double choc chiller thriller, straw and a little bit of extra chocolate, can't go wrong. Double choc chiller thriller.